six and we're free to explore all the deserted islands now. This will be safe. Excited to go, babe? <laughs> yes, he reckons. We just did a little shop. We got the remains of what was in the supermarket. So for Christmas, it looks like we'll have a watermelon with vodka inside, some juice, some crackers. It's gotta be good. Lost Rockers is an archipelago of approximately 350 islands over 40 square kilometres, so we had a lot to see and do over the next few weeks. Our first stop was just around the corner, a protected little bay called Francis Key. Apart from a kite surfing shack, a heap of kite surfers and a restaurant on the beach, there wasn't much else there, so we decided to check out what the restaurant had going on. The menu was mostly seafood, which we certainly didn't mind, and everything was super fresh as the fishermen set out each morning and brought in the catch of the day, which you could watch them prepare outside if you liked. What do you think of Lost Rockers so far? Uh, it's pretty good. I'd, I'd fall into a trap where every place I go I think is the best place I've ever been. Yeah, hear it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so awesome? Uh, there's not so many tourists here. Well, there are, but they're like Today, Venezuelan and China. Well, we're at a, a V tourist restaurant, but there's not that many tourists here. There's plenty of place to park your boat. Awesome, awesome beaches. I haven't nailed uh, too many fish yet, spear fishing wise, but from what I can gather, there's a lot of fish around. And. I don't know, I like speaking Spanish. Got some lobster rally. Yeah. T tell everyone how much it was. I don't know, like three dollars or something. That is incredible. Merry Christmas, babe! <laughs> There's just a, a little patch of sand over here, which I've just got my eye on to make sure we're not dragging at all. Pretty shallow over there. It's a little bit shallow. Yeah. But at least it's sand if we were to hit it. Although it's going to be rudder first, which isn't going to be pretty. But we're holding. We're holding. I'm just. I'll keep my eye on. This is the first serious blow we've had with a squall on this little anchor spot. And if it, if we hold through this, we should be all good. What say you about this? Huh? You can curve? I can curve. Good work. What are you doing, Ralph? Pulling out. <clears throat> pulling out the second anchor so we can go and get drunk for Christmas. <laughs> Later that night we partied at the beach and on our friend's cat. Thank you to JP and Dawn. Thanks guys. All the footage is awful but it was really good fun. We woke up pretty dusty but we dragged ourselves out of bed and dove on a nearby reef. An argument could easily be made that the best thing about having a yacht is being able to walk straight off the back, dive into the ocean and instantly cure a hangover.
religious looking statue which was pretty cool and then we headed home to get some much needed rest because we were off to another little island the next morning. What's going on Ray? Well we just pulled anchor and like decided to go somewhere and then it's bucketing down and I can't see the reef. But we'll be alright. Well I can see it now. What have you discovered, baby? Well, just when I thought all of our jobs had been done, the chart plotter is now saying, it fixed itself, sort of, and now it's saying that we're going at 60 knots and headed sideways up the map. We've yeah. just gone over that airstrip. So yeah, that's quite hazardous. Yes, lucky we got a backup. We've got the iPad as a backup, fortunately. Mm. This is strange. We were running out of food and the next supermarket delivery on the main island wasn't for another week. Spearfishing is no bueno in Los Roques so we had to sail to the next island over which is Aves to stock up and then we had to beat back into the wind to get back to Los Roques. Just about to go for a spear. I'm gonna, Elena's gonna hang five on the boat for a bit. There's a ledge here that goes from about 30 metres down to, well, that island there, so it's pretty steep. Hopefully there's a couple of fish there. Good luck, darling. Thank you. Afternoon, folks. Captain Eli with you here this afternoon. Just a little update. I'm currently driving around and around in circles, waiting to pick up Riley. He's spearfishing with his bright orange uh, buoy. You guys say buoy, we say boy. The sun is shining. That's always a good thing. The birds are out. Hopefully the fish are out. It's entertaining myself. Getting a little bit sunburned. It's me until you be home. I don't know the words. It's me until love starts. Maybe that's all you can do. It's me until the light of a thousand stars. Place your hand on my beating heart. This should restock the fridge, and uh, I'm pretty happy. This is pretty much. <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> this is why I got the boat, so I can go spear some fish and like live off the land, sort of thing. Provide for your beautiful girlfriend. Feed my woman. <laughs> no, I'm pretty happy. I've had. It's been a tremendous day. It's. The amount of hours I've spent in the water trying to, you know, and then when you have a day like this, it just makes it all worthwhile. Yeah. I've just about had it up to here with Riley and his fish carcasses. He has been saving them and telling me to put them in the freezer because he's going to pull them out on a rainy day and chum up. So yeah, um, just about sick of this. The fish is, the fish is starting to stink. The fridge is starting to smell like fish, so. We spent the next week island hopping and there's just nice short sails everywhere. It's comparably easy to sail in Los Roques as the BBI's I'd say, although it's obviously a little less charted. Most islands were deserted, some did have a few little restaurants and beach shacks but that was about it. We spent most of our time reading and snorkeling and relaxing. Elenita! Hola! We were just anchored out there earlier weren't we? Yes we were. Moved around to the other side of the bay, but this side seems to have less wind now and our side's howling, so. Mm. Looks like oh, there's uh, more fish over here. They're still jumping? Yeah. I'll try and film some later. Yeah. Ah. Go. All right. <laughs> oh, dots in my head. <laughs> nice pose at the finish there. Half half. A 
friendly lady lured us into a restaurant that night and served us a lobster right from her front yard. We were extremely happy with our two dollar meal and we spent the night discussing our future sailing plans and where we would spend New Year's which was only a few days away. We couldn't believe 2016 was just around the corner and all that we had done in just over a year living on board La Vagabond together. Join us next week in Gran Roque as we celebrate New Year's at Nelly's. We explore a little more of the island before sailing off to a new country, stopping at a few of the must see islands on the way out. Okay, so I've got here Microsoft Excel, and on that is a random selector. So I've had my little brother, he's been working on it, thanks for that, Danny. Cheers, Danny. I know it took a while. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the a column here and so say someone put in $200 their name goes in 200 times if someone put in $10 their name goes in 10 times and then I push F9 and it randomly selects one of the people so if I push that now can I push that now yep push it now it's Jeff Hazelwood Jeff Hazelwood would you like to get in contact with us we'd like to have you come on board the boat awesome all right Cheerio, darling. Au revoir. I see the shots are in the water like a slick song. Well, there's one there bigger than a submarine. As he circles, I